Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sami here. And if you're new to this channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Um, on this channel, I talk about everything, motherhood, lifestyle, everything. Everything, guys. Like... <laughs> So, um, we also do somewhere like I have fun. I like to like read about stuff and share with people. And so if you're interested in this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who have been subscribing. I'm getting so much love on this platform. And if you haven't subscribed, yes, yes, I am judging you. What are you doing? Stop the video, subscribe and come back and watch. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so today's topic, I'll be talking about whether we should spank our kids or not to spank our kids. It's a very controversial topic. So, uh, it's a very controversial topic and it's something that um, a lot of people, you know, will agree to disagree, if I will say something like that. Because um, there is argument for should I spank or should I not spank. I mean, if you were like most of us who grew up in, in um, I guess, I mean, my own generation. <laughs> okay, I'm a millennial, don't mind me. Okay, so I grew up in, in Nigeria and I was spanked. Um, like they would say, um, spanking is a form of, uh, it's a way, it's, it's a way to punish a child. So it's like, I've given you consequences. If you do something, you either get a timeout or, you know, I get to spank you or something. So, they, those are ways of kind of like, it's not discipline. Discipline is not the same thing as punishment. Discipline is basically learning. It's knowledge. It's to, to teach. So discipline is not the same as punishment. Like, let's get that straight. Um, if you want to know more about positive parenting, you're going to check out my next video where I'm going to talk about all that. But in this video, I'm going to talk about whether we should spank or we should not spank and the reasons why people think we should spank and the reasons why they think you should not spank. Okay, so I'm going to dive right deep and tell you the reasons why people believe you should spank and why you shouldn't spank. So people believe that people who are spanked actually end up going to college. Like they are more, they are better behaved kids. Um, they are more they're set up for success and um also it's what the bible says that you should spare the rod and spoil the child and um you know they believe also that it's um it's a form of to them it's a form of discipline so for, for me i'm going to talk, talk, talk about my own perspective so growing up i was spanked like i, I was spanked growing up you know and um I, I, I would like to say that i was spanked with love all the times that I was spanked, I think I deserved the spanking and um, I was never spanked, like my parents never spanked me out of, okay, my father never spanked me, <laughs> so like my mom never spanked me out of anger, my grandmother never spanked me out of anger. It was more like, okay, you did this or they tell you something the first time, they tell you the second time, they did it the third time, like you already know. You know, the, you, like actions have consequences. It's more like your actions have consequences. So you know that if you, they're going to get a spanking the next time if you do that thing, right? And every time that I was spanked, it was more like they spank you. And maybe like 10 minutes later, they call you back and tell you that, you see, why, do you know why I spanked you? Like they'll bring you back in love and you continue your day. So it was never like, you did something and they lash out in anger. Sometimes my mom might be going out and she'll tell you later, she'll get back to it. Like she'll go out and come back and she will now do the spanking. Like, <laughs> so it's like she has planned it. It's not, it's not a, you do something and they slap you kind of situation or you do something and they kind of like spank you and you know, like she doesn't spank out of emotion. She spanks to correct. So that's why maybe I'll be like, mm, I never, ex have not, I've not experienced what people are saying about spanking. But also in school, when school, and I know there were times like, I didn't like, I, I didn't like to be spanked. It was like, I think it was a little bit shameful for me. And then, uh, <laughs> growing up back home in Nigeria, like teachers had the right to spank you, right? So you're late to school, you're tardy, 
you get spanked. They come in and the class is noisy. They there's what they call corporal punishment. They spank everybody. Um, sometimes there was even this um, there was this lesson I used to go to then, like tutoring class. Um, you feel so they do this thing. It's called items to be learned by heart by Mr. Lacombs, and they do like formula formula test. So if they give you twenty, you're supposed to know those twenty formulas. If you fail the 20, they'll give you 20 spanks. If you get 10, they'll give you 10 spanks. Like, if you fail 10, they'll give you 10 spanks. If you don't fail any one, you don't get any spank at all. So, um, that was another, just for another day. <laughs> but basically, spanking wasn't frowned upon going up as it is now. And so, sorry guys, that's my phone. People who spank say, that people spank out of aggression so that it's not basically they're not spanking the child because of what the child did it's based on like being angry right and um, they say so if you spank your child out of anger that means you're also teaching your child how to be angry so basically if you if you hit your child so maybe your child does something and maybe it's not directly related to what happened at the moment maybe you're already angry from maybe you already have some issues at work and you come back and your child is like mommy 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 and is harassing you and maybe does something stupid you know i mean kids are silly you're gonna play silly games i mean be realistic with expectations from kids so you do something they do something and you kind of like spank them out of anger so you're teaching them that you know, they can't control their emotions so when they are angry they can lash out on someone else so the basic like, you're basically modeling aggression for them so they won't they will grow up to be adults who can't resolve their emotions basically people also believe that spanking loses its effect over time so I mean you're spanking a two-year-old a five-year-old a six-year-old when the person is 21 are you gonna keep spanking like people believe that mm, like, why are you really spanking a child, right? If you are spanking someone and that behavior is not being corrected. So, so if you're trying to cross a road with a child, for instance, and the child runs off and you kind of like put the child back and, you know, spank the child so they don't do it again. And the next week you're passing with the child, the child repeats the same thing. <laughs> so it's like, are you really correcting? Did you really correct anything? Like, so they feel like also, there's a certain age a child will reach. You they'll just come and open, you know, they'll give you their hands and you spank them. Or they she like <laughs> it's not spank again, you know. So it loses effect over time. So you have to look for a better a better way to correct a child as opposed to like spanking, spanking all the time. You know what I mean? So it also listens to another point that it's it's not an option for when a child grows older. If a child is older, much older. You can't spank a 21 year old or a 16 year old. There's a child where your there's an age where your child will get to. Seriously. <laughs> They'll be looking at you like you know, some wild kids might take that kid and spank you back. So what a bullion So like don't say no but there's an age you reach that mm mm. It's no longer spanking that will do the work for you. <laughs> People believe that, you know, kids who were spanked, they feel shame. And that sort of like affects like their self-esteem when they get older. So, I mean, if maybe you grew up in a society where people were not spanked, back home, we're all spanked. So, I mean, the only shame I had was that I didn't want to be that kid that would be spanked. So that's why, to me, it was like, mm -mm, I don't want to be spanked. But not like, so, but, but, but anyway, that's what people believe is like, if you're spanked, you're gonna feel shame. And it could affect your self-esteem issues much later in life. And um, they also believe that kids who are spanked, it doesn't teach them to behave appropriately. Like I already said before. So you, you spank a child for the same thing over and over again. So does it mean the child is, does it mean your spanking is not working again or you know, I mean, the the truth is, with if you're spanking or you're not spanking, you also have to know that you have to set limits for children and also realize that they are kids and kids are going to be kids. 
but you have to kind of like teach them to kind of like model a behavior that you want um you know you have to use like a child level logic with them you um have to be be realistic with expectations you know there are things that you don't expect a two-year-old or a five-year-old or a seven-year-old to do so so that you don't set yourself up for you know like anger or see yourself losing it and you you know spank you get um you get overwhelmed and you kind of like lashed up on your kids you know i mean so it brings us to the question so we like spanks I, I think there might be a rare circumstance for spanking but for now no because <laughs> i'm practicing something i'm practicing positive parenting now and so i wouldn't do that because that's something i'm practicing now i'm gonna show you show you in the next video you know what my whole process is so if you're interested in that in that sort of video um i have a video my next video that i'll be talking about positive parenting if you're interested in this kind of content be sure to watch it for my next video and be sure to subscribe to my channel Thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.